Howdy, I'm Jacob. You're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today we're out here on the property. I've been busy with the farm for the past couple days. Haven't been posting a whole lot of videos, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the boog and some things that you might not have considered. Real quick, uh, the purpose of this video is not to do your research for you. You should do that on your own. Uh, my purpose is to give you a couple of things to consider that you might not have already. Also, um, I have built these opinions and this experience um, off of uh, first-hand experience. I uh, served in the military as an infantryman, and I worked as an infantryman with the S2 intelligence shop to make sure that myself and the guys on the ground were looking for the right things, documenting the right things, and then giving the right information back to S2. So I was kind of working on the ground with uh, my guys uh, to put information in between the commander and the intelligence. I also worked with PSYOPs and uh, after my time in the military I got a bachelor's degree from Argosy in criminal justice homeland security working uh, specifically on counterterrorism. after which uh, I kind of realized I, get, I was given context to some of the things that I learned in Afghanistan and I decided instead of pursuing the high paying jobs and the nice jobs I was looking at to uh, buy a cheap house, an old truck, and start a farm in the middle of nowhere. With that being said, a couple things that you might not have considered. Uh, number one, all of this is really about intelligence. So surveillance and intelligence and cell phones. Uh, the number two thing that we're going to talk about is fuel. So uh, to talk about your cell phone, uh, statistically, most of these Boog videos have been watched on smartphones. Uh, there's a few things that are important about this. First off, for a moment, think about why old dumb phones that are still being made from 10 years ago have gone up in price and how getting non-data cell phone plans has become more expensive. That's not how capitalism works, right? It's, it doesn't make sense to be able to get a smartphone with more modern technology, with less units made, uh, and a more expensive service for less money. Uh, there has to be some kind of agenda there. We do have uh, experience with Verizon illegally selling your information. I think that was about five years ago. It was like a big deal for like three days before the news stopped talking about it and everybody forgot about it. Um, so there has to be a reason that uh, somebody wants you on data, right? They're paying for you to be on data. They're falsely increasing the prices on non-data communication devices because they don't want you on them. Compounded with that, we also know for a fact, this is not aluminum foil, hat, anything. We know for a fact that your conversations with your phone in your pocket are being recorded and either directly sold to uh, companies uh, who need to know uh, who to advertise to. Um, but they're, they're going to the government, right? If you believe that only corporations are getting your information that is taken directly from your voice being recorded while you're not using your phone and not to the government when they want it, you're an idiot. So. All of this, we're talking about information, plenty of just mind-numbingly stupid comments and ignorant comments in the past about we don't need to fight this war, we just need to remove the elite. That's what every revolution and every socialist and communist ever has said that they were going to do. It's a lofty goal. It makes sense if you don't know anything about what you're talking about. The reality is we don't know who the real problem is. We know a few figureheads, we know a few puppets, but we, you, as you watching this, you don't know who the real problem is. You don't, you don't know how to find them. You don't know where to find them. You've never seen them before. And yet you think that you're just going to go kit up and go remove them. Um, and if, if you were realistic in this, you would have already been doing it, but you're not. So you're just uh, clanging swords, okay? It's worthless. 
You don't know who they are, but they know who you are. Everything that you say, text, message, has been recorded, categorized, and saved to be pulled up at any time. So uh, really losing the information we're there. And the next thing, uh, simple thing, is, uh, oh, I forgot we're also going to talk about food. Um, gas. Um, why, why we thought it was cool for the government to subsidize farmers for corn to put gas into fuel that made it less efficient. Everybody's scratching their heads and, and wondering why the, this is all tied to the farming industry and why these things don't make sense. It's because your fuel's going to go bad in a couple months. A couple of people out there are storing gas and putting... Uh, you know, your uh, gas protection chemicals into it, whatever, uh, fuel stabilizers. That's good. Most people aren't. The government, all they have to do is shut off the flow of gas, and all the gas that everybody has is bad in a month. You might get six months out of it. Uh, and they're going after diesel because diesel uh, stays good much longer. Now you got DEF fluid and all kinds of electronics. Nothing... We, we've, we've accepted so much uh, freaking uh, emissions regulation that we've allowed ourselves to be completely dependent on transportation, which is why I drive that old goofball right there. One of the reasons. However, so you, you need to consider, like, how am I going to move? All right. Next, Monsanto. Obviously, they have to get Monsanto corporate heads into politics. They've completely taken over everything. Their seeds don't germinate. So if they want to cut off the food supply, you're not getting any more food. The uh, Mennonites and the Amish, bless their hearts, a lot of them don't know what GMO is. They're buying seeds, and they're growing. It's still GMO. You can find GMO now, but you, or GMO-free, but you got to look for it. All right, and uh, so we're completely dependent in that regard. And finally, let's talk about let's talk about real quick the military. People are like the military is going to swing in and save us. No military commander since Erwin Rommel in Africa has been able to effectively move without logistical support. So, how, wh where in your brain do you think that they're going to be moving vehicles, planes, tanks? Where are they going to get their fuel? None of them are getting paid. Where are they going to get their food? Do you really think that the military is going to swing in and save the day without getting paid and without having logistical support? How would that even be popular, possible? And in case you don't know, everybody has this false idea of what the military is. Nobody, uh, you know, uh, I don't like to speak in absolutes. So statistically speaking, no relative number of military personnel know crap about survival. They couldn't go start a fire right now. They can't survive on their own without food. They've never been without food more than three to five days. Some of our crestier guys and Marines over on Okinawa did a bit of survival and stuff, but it's not enough and it's been a long time. And those Marines have gotten old, fat, and have families now. And clearly, if they were going to do something, they already would be. So why are you hoping that the military is going to come in and save you? You don't even know what the military is. You are hoping on something based on ignorance. So what is the purpose? Most people won't make it this far in the video. For us to regain our liberty, you have to become ungovernable. You have to begin trying to learn how to survive and what it takes without the government. Turn off your power, freaking go out, go into the woods, spend some time, actually be hungry, because I promise you, you will not get a bunch of food in the woods. You will be hungry. And then use that context from experience to consider the difference between what we have today and what we had historically. I'm, I'm big on history. Look at what the Confederate soldiers had to go through to fight. It's absolutely incredible. It's, it's a statistical anomaly. And what the, Confederate, uh, the Confederacy did was absolutely incredible, just logistically. Um, 
you know, look at the people who, uh, who colonized Ohio, all right? They decided they wanted to colonize Ohio, so they left on foot in December. They walked 700 miles. They got to where they were going in April, 48 guys, by the way. In April, they spent a month building multiple boats. They floated down the river. They started colonizing uh, men's men. Go out, get a wagon, get a cross-cut saw, take an axe, and build me a doggone boat. I mean, these people in our past, and in Afghanistan, and in Vietnam, and in anywhere else, are able to resist because they are essentially ungovernable. And yet, even in our own revolutionary war, without outside support, there has never been a res revolution that was successful that would have been successful. That's why we spent so much money in Afghanistan to help uh, the, the Afghans fight the Russians, and that's why the Russians and the Syrians are funding the Syrians to fight us in Afghanistan. People are talking about revolutions and they don't even understand what's going on. We're not fighting Afghans. The crap is wrong with people. I don't, I don't really get, I don't really understand. It's, it's beyond my comprehension. However, those are some things to consider. Boog 101. Uh, I'll try and put a video link up here to my other videos. They're not going to be positive. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of thing and this video pisses you off, freaking prove me wrong throw on a pack and go out and start getting some experience because again the goal is to become ungovernable go get firearms training with dti a tactical response there's with clint smith there's a bunch of good places to get firearms training get survival training actually go out and do the stuff you fantasize about and then come back and we'll talk i mean because all the it's <laughs> people are like Oh, he's trying to tell us not to fight. No, I'm not trying to tell you not to fight. There's, there's no other option but fighting. But don't fight stupid.